So we have to omit the two inches over there on that. So we're roughly at uh, 43 and a half or a little more inches for width on the top. And then the depth on the top is looking at about nine inches. Bottom. Bottom, about the same, nine inches. Width on the bottom. Not quite 26 inches. Let's say 25 and three quarter. Okay, and now length. Again, two inches on lip. To omit the lip. See, so six feet roughly for omitting two inches for the lip. Okay, so I'll do those calculations for cubic feet and I'll put it up on the video. So next I wanna measure how much wood I can fit in here reasonably while stacking it a little bit above the sides just because you'd probably wanna do that, but not too crazy. And I'm going to measure how much wood is in each log that I cut. And I'll keep piling it on. And we'll see how much I can fit. So for measuring the log and figuring out how many cubic feet are in the log, rather than trying to measure how much is going to fit on the trailer after, because it's going to be an awkward shape, we're going to use this. This is for measuring circumference. It's actually for <laughs> measuring people normally, but this will work. And then we're going to use... A measuring tape just to see how long the log is. We'll average, we'll average out the circumference to get a radius, and then we'll do the math on how many cubic feet that is, and then we'll see how much of that log I can fit onto the trailer. And then if I need to cut another one, I'll cut another one and keep doing the process until we're full. Here we go. Three and a half circumference. Now I'll measure the length. We'll probably do 10 feet at a time, roughly. under 40 inch circumference. So I'll do the math on that. Pop it up on the screen somewhere. Anyways, now I'm gonna buck this and put it on the trailer. Let's see where we're at. So I haven't done the exact math on that yet, but that should be roughly eight cubic that I just cut. I'll load it up and see how much room we have left. It should be quite a lot because I think the trailer is roughly 25 flush. So load that and then cut some more. So 
Uh, we have voids and gaps now, but I'll fill those as we go, but it doesn't really make a huge difference because we're trying to figure out how much the log is, not base it on how much is on the trailer. Anyway, I'll measure another 10 foot. log. We bucked it so I can roll it and get on it easier. Measure the circumferences again. So we're at 37. So moving right along here, a few of these definitely have to get ratchet strapped, but I think that's kind of common for me anyways. That's where we're at. That's, I suppose if you cut everything perfect, you could have gotten more of a perfect angle and all these kinds of things, but I'm trying to be kind of realistic here and not try to like, you know, make like the perfect load where you're never going to be able to recreate this. So. Similar problem is like the length that I want, it doesn't end up perfect. So you see, there's a gap, so I'm just gonna throw a few in here like I would normally. Just pretend I'm using this as normal. And you know, see what the capacity really is. Not just try to, you know, max it out for one video kind of thing. So there we go, that's where we're at so far. Got a few more pieces here. Strap it down, and then we'll calculate how many cubic feet that was. 
spot right here. It's 14 feet long if we get the whole thing. And we're gonna just go ahead and average down to 20 inch circumference. <laughs> Okay, so we fit it all. We're sticking out the back a little. Here, let me switch it around. Okay, so this is obviously not secured yet. This is gonna need a ratchet strap, and there'll be another piece going right in here that already fell out. That'll get a ratchet strap. So anyways, there's the load. E, C, there. E, nothing. Nothing too insane and definitely not like a crazy amount of weight because this is dry. So I'll get it secured down and put a count somewhere in this general area of how many cubic feet I think it is. Obviously it's always an estimate because things aren't a perfect circle. I'm just doing an average. I might be on the low end, I might be on the high end, who knows. But uh, you know, it's roughly accurate. Should give you an idea of what it'll hold if you're wondering. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll wrap things up here and get on my way. Good to go. My battery's gonna die, so I gotta stop recording. Thanks for watching.